Welcome back to another installment on my Half-Life series. Tonight we're going to go ahead and finish paying off uh, the chopper for uh, harassing me all of the last episode. Went ahead and already took care of these barnacles, so let's go ahead and get into the action. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, where are you going? It doesn't look like he likes that. Who's on the run now? Let's get it. Oh, it's never that easy. Far in the back, I had to restock in that room. Let's go ahead and hit it. Seems this gun is very powerful on almost anything. Full speed. This gun is awesome. Whoa, Mr. G Man, what were you doing there? Zombies? Oh no. Oh no. More barrels? Jeez, these guys can't get enough. Loop around really quick. Alright. I think that's all of them. Still exploding back there, though. Oh no! You're trying to get me. This vehicle that they use is just very. Last uh, chain of bullets. Looks like we have to go around in here. Totally slipped my mind that I actually had to get out of the boat and come back here. So, um, let's go ahead and make this thing go boom! I was hoping that was gonna make a bigger explosion, but just enough to fit my little boat. This way. That way. I'm so excited to be done with this chapter. Ah, this is the place I was looking forward to. Where's my buddy at? There he is.
just haven't learned your lesson, huh? Yeah, I got one of those too. You're not special. Okay, I don't have those though. Pressure on them. Just let my ammo build up a little bit. Let's go. Rather successful. Thought before I proceeded I would uh, loot the rest of this place and get my health and shields up while I can. We have some exciting action coming up, so. Gotta make sure I'm alive for it. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and enter through the back. Yes. Well, we're in the area. We Stop by our good old friend, Mr. Vortikoff. Alright, I made it into the tunnel. Let's go and visit our friend. But we have to first pass through this very... ...radiated water. Remember the free man. We are coterminous. There is no distance between us. No false veils of time or space may intervene. We see you still in Black Mesa. Clearly we see you in the Nailance Chamber. We bear witness to the bright eternity of the Nailance demise. You leap, you fall, we see you flash between the back. For a brief time you joined us, you are one between the worlds. Communion of the Vortessence and that other, a deeper mystery, no deeper than the void itself. We cannot forget those whose cords you cut. Forgiveness is not ours to bestow. Unity of purpose, the shattering of common shackles, a single road we tread. Your song we sing and shall sing for eternity, no matter the consequences of this struggle. You have brought us grief and jubilation beyond measure. We are there still in observance of your final stroke. While our only scattered at your feet, you severed the vortical cord that bound the nail to life and to us. That sharp spur of hope has not dulled. <laughs> the lesser master lay defeated. We knew the greater must also fall in time. With you besides us, a talisman of victory, the day of freedom draws nigh. Your bright face obscures your darker mask. Thank you. We call you Sib, although your mind and meaning are a mystery to us. And just so you guys know, I'm going to be running into a lot of these later. These are the uh, poison... Actually, no, I'm we sorry. These are the fast head crabs. They're pretty freaky looking, as you can see. Uh, they're gonna be coming at me by the hundreds. Far distant eyes look out through yours. Far distant eyes look out through mine. I think I know what that means. Well, let's head Our back. Is worthless. Unless spent on freedom. America. All right, let's go ahead and uh, proceed back and get into the fun. Um, thank you very much for your kind and your wise words, Mr. Vortikoff. We have survived worse across the ages. I believe it. 
And we returned to the action. I went ahead and got back up to the surface, and uh, looks like our conversation will be cut short because I'm getting shot at. Had to clean up this mess really quick. I don't think I need the boat anymore. Let's go ahead and clean these guys up. Pretty sure. Wow, look at all these supplies. Alright. Hopefully they're not preparing me for something crazy. Oh guys, I'm sorry I failed you. I do actually still need the boat. But... Looking good. Oh no. Good thing I can swim. Go ahead and get back over to where I parked the boat, 5,000 light years away. Let's go wrap this place up for the fifth time. I made it. That was a bit of a fall. Weather's looking beautiful outside. Out of my way. It's human. Hello? Hi. Take it easy in there. You're safe now. You'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly. Well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been no, hearing about you since guy. long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Clyde when they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. Let's go see him. Oh. What's back here? We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based. Similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they failed to factor the dark Yow. energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement, <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis, effectively a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Here's a Eli now. All right, good. You keep right on. After you. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa. But it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. 
Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. Will do. Dr. Breen, he's the administrator of this whole vile business now. He ended the Seven Hours War by managing Earth's surrender. The Combine rewarded him with power. Portal Stone. Seven Hour War ends in Combine victory. Interesting. Typing up some stuff. Oh, Mr. Vortigon. Sorry. Oh, Gordon. Oh. The Vortigon Alex. said you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he Boat. broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's of nothing course. Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh... <laughs> It looks like a Metroid. I wonder if this is this potato. Take a look at this, Gordon. Oh, the laser. Oh, sorry, I mean to turn it off. I like the colors. I would have one of these in my room as long as it didn't spawn in a uh, army of aliens to delete me. This place is pretty cool. Alex, I thought you were on watch. The Vortigons relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? Oh no. Not World Star? It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Gravity on, gun? Let's go have some fun. The zero point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh, let's get out of here. I, I want to have some fun. So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Come on. I wonder why we don't go there anymore. Oh, you can open it from here. I don't know why you guys just don't teach me the codes. So, here we are. The scrapyard. Echo. This is the gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. If I really want it's to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. Let's give her a test. The secondary trigger lets you grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Once you pick something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. Blew up the toilet. You can also pull stuff over from a distance. Ow. Try grabbing the ledge. Grab some 
lunch? These ones. Parkour Master Alex. See if you can stack some stuff to climb up here. Grab something with your secondary trigger, then press the same trigger again to drop it gently. There we go. All right. Hey, what's that? Let's see if I can get that over here. Let's see if I can get close enough to snatch it. Great. This. Wow, I haven't seen one of these since. For God's sake, open the silo door! They're coming for us! It's our only way out! Oh my God, we're doomed! Let's uh, put that back up where it belongs. Here you go. Now let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog? Dog! Come! Good doggy. Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, boy. Okay, dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Okay. Go ahead, dog. Throw! I go fetch it. Oh, oh Mr. Roller Mine. Looks like he's having a good time. Let's see if I could swish it. Eh. I'll just play with you, dog. That's true. This is fun. Go get him, ball. Let's get oh, God. Let's go. God. Alex, do you read? Alex! Are they... What's going on in there? Where are you, Alex? We're in the scrapyard airlock, stuck in a full auto cycle. Is Gordon still with you? He's right here. Good. I want you to... Dad? Take Gordon out of here. Head for the coast. Do not go through rape. Dad? Don't Dad! go through. Damn it! Dog, open the airlock. Get us out of here. <laughs> Hurry, now! Tear it apart. Just get it open. That's enough, dog. I Come on, Gordon. Think I can. Oh. Come on! Oh. Thanks, dog. Let's hit it. Oh. Now let's go. Gordon, you need 
to get out of here. I can't leave my father. Dog, take Gordon to the Raven Home Tunnel, then circle around and try to meet up with me. Hurry! To the what tunnel? I thought we don't go through there. Looks like we're gonna have to go through, uh, Ravenholm. As clear as they really do not want us to go into this area. I, lo I look forward to it. Yeah, uh, this place looks fantastic. Anyway, on the next episode we find out why we don't go to Ravenholm. <laughs>